Good evening, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on X. I'm in Future Digibyte OG. So, guys, I'm going to show some memes, but first, ah, this one's a little. I got two more from Mr. Sean Crothers, which I'm going to be talking about something important about his and another, another update, but just to get the ball rolling, just remember that name, Sean Crothers, because I have some uh, information that. I'm going to be posting on mine, another entrepreneur of sorts. So, but this is from him and I love the lilies and I think it's a sign of good things and seeing them sprout and it makes me feel good. So I wanted to share. He's, he sent me some beautiful pictures, absolutely spectacular. And I love when people send me their, uh, this kind of stuff, especially when it comes to like the gardening and the horticulturing and that kind of stuff. So, Sean, I appreciate you taking the time to actually send me this stuff and talk to me and let me know what you're all about, my friend. Big things for you. So, sometimes we all need to hear it, but Sean, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what the direction you put your life into. It's, it's inspirational. So, and obviously, UB2 Saab, legendary. This guy's a meme genius, and I'm just lucky he found my community because this would not be the same without him. So... Bob's Bounce. Are you okay, Bob? So, Goosey, Goosey Gander. With her Shelly, Shelly, I wonder, upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber, there I met an old man who wouldn't say his prayers, so I took him by his left leg and threw him down the stairs. <laughs> Don't let this be you. Join Tom's army. Thanks to Bob's advice, I can only get this place this kind of place to, to live. Bye, Mimi. Joy's mom just left. I should have joined Tom's army and learned to read the charts. And then we have Buddhist quote of the day. Six rules for life. One, b before you pray, believe. Two, before you speak, listen. Three, before you spend, earn. Four, before you write, think. Five, before you quit, try. Six, before you die, live. Hashtag be better, do better. <laughs> this one is my favorite. <laughs> this is so perfect, you be too shop. See it for what it is. A FUD clown show. Ripple XRP will still moon extreme FUD. So, you know, there's the, my uh, Dusty's BC. I think he did a fantastic job with these. Dogecoin huge spikes. You know, like... This is exactly what it is, a clown show. When I think of the impending crash, join Tom's army. It'll be like tanking candies from a baby. <laughs> <coughs> Come closer, Bob. Want a bowl of your favorite FUD? Bear flag <laughs> resistance supply. <laughs> Get rehabilitated. Hook Don Hopium, join Tom's army. <laughs> Admitting there's a problem, Hopium is the first step to recovery. Oh, this is great. And then these are the other lilies from uh, Sean Crothers. I fucking love these things. And I, I'm, I'm a man of wild, and I, I love seeing these things blooming. And since I don't see these by my house as often, well, not very much I'm in certain parts of the state. So... I appreciate you sending these. And what a beautiful, beautiful setting in the backyard that is. So, what a beautiful view. Beautiful. That makes me happy. See, at hashtag sunny days, join Tom's army. So thanks, guys, really. You be, you be too sad. <laughs> like, you all worked on yourself as always. Oh, man, it makes me so happy. So, guys, we're... We're starting to break down a little bit. I did not know that. I was gonna say I was just about to say, I kid you not, that we're in the same track. Bitcoin's at 36.2 something. Because it's been stuck there. But I told you earlier I felt like we could be rounding the top. Doesn't mean we're going to, but you know, you definitely, if you're still holding this position, you don't want it to fall back to 35,000. I've got these meticulously listed now. You know, it's gonna be a pretty steep drop. You know, if we don't hold that 34222 level, and that's ironic that it's 222, but it was meant to be that way. It is the sign the angels are watching us, so, you know, it's guiding us. We know what's going on. So...
you know, this is just something to watch. This doesn't mean that it's going to collapse right now. This just means you got to have your, your alerts up. Guys, I wouldn't have stayed up all night with two-hour uh, alarms every two hours when I was in V-Chain if I didn't think we were going to collapse immediately following this. I wasn't getting caught with my pants down. So, you know, we're just watching over this. Bitcoin just went under 36000 for the first time all day. So that's kind of alarming. It's also alarming that I called it the topping reversal pattern. And now it's rounding the top like we were talking earlier that it could potentially be showing signs of that. And like I said with VeChain, I didn't get the top. I missed out by three and a half, four percent But what I do is I do the neckline, you know, top of the shoulder into the neckline where I know what's going on and I can pretty much see a reversal coming. So I might not have got 16 and a half percent or 17 percent, but I got 13 almost. You know, or just damn near. I was a little bit right around here roughly. So there's a reason why I do this. It, it works for me time and time again. And then I don't have to worry about the the in and out right at that moment of impact when everybody's trading. Like when I was doing it, it was still being bought. So I didn't have to worry about selling it. There were plenty of buyers to eat it up at my prices. If I would have sold it down in a rally drop like just now, it would have cost me much more than just the money it did to get in and out. I'm fucking thrilled where I'm at now. Well, I don't want to go on here. I mean, no plan. But I'm thrilled where I'm at now. Like I said, I'm over 4,500 for this next buy. Was that 2,300? So even when people are talking their nonsense, I just keep watching my portfolio and I take money out. I put it into commodities. I buy bullion. But yet I still get, you know, people just don't understand. And now remember all the people that were FOMOing? Even if you want to buy XRP, simply when I was saying earlier, get out. Go look at my video, and I haven't put out another video for eight hours because I wasn't fudding it up today. I was very strong in my last one telling you that we had to re we could have to consolidate. Consolidating, guys, could mean it only goes down to 68 cents. And if you think that's the case, well, that's on you to buy because that certainly could be possible. But the point was, don't buy at 73.3. You buy it at 68 on that retrace then. You don't overpay. That's my job to make sure you don't overpay, and that's why I have not put out another video until now. Usually I'll put out a couple in between the FUD, but I couldn't. I'm not going to do it. I needed you guys to pay attention. So now you have to decide. Is this part of the retracement? And are we going to finish this off and maybe show that 69 is support or 68? And then we'll bounce up to 78 and ultimately get rejected. That's what you need to decide. I've already made my decision. I got my profit. I'm out. And I don't FOMO. But it would be nice to catch that 68 to 78 at the same time. Just like it would be nice. <sighs> here's the potential, guys. And here's what I'm wrestling with. You got the retrace right here on 8.8. If, if B chain somehow went down to 8.6 and just stopped and went sideways. But I, I would not buy back in. But there is potential. B chain can still get to 9.9. You know, there's a reason that number's up there. I just didn't think it was going to get there. It got a hell of a lot closer than I thought. I'll give it that. It had a mighty blow off the top. But right now, that could be what all that it's looking at right now. That mighty blow off the top. DGB kind of looks like it's rounding the top, but we won't know until we have some more data points. Um, XLM, it's the same deal. That one has more of a rounding top. And